RTX transforms Windows into a real-time operating system. In the next couple minutes, I'm going to show you how we actually do that. So if you look here, this is a standard dual-core x86 platform. And if you see, we've got two cores here. And pretty standard here is the Windows stack. So here we have the Windows HAL layer. We have the kernel for Windows. And then here we're crossing into the user space. We have the Win32 or Win64 subsystem. And of course, the application sitting on top. Now, let's actually introduce RTX to the equation. So once we introduce RTX, what you can now do is take these two x86 cores and we can dedicate one for Windows and dedicate one for real-time processing under RTX. So here we'll have true dedicated hard real-time on this core and by the way RTX supports up to 63 real-time cores. So now once we have this real-time core RTX has its own hardware abstraction layer. So we don't modify or replace the existing Windows HAL. We actually extend it. And what this allows us to do is have direct access to the actual hardware. So there's no virtualization here. And so essentially, you're getting 100% utilization of the core. And there's no, as far as non-determinism going on, or no non-deterministic layer between your real-time software and the hardware. OK? So now the next layer up. Here's the RTX subsystem or the scheduler. So here you have another scheduler. This is a real-time scheduler under RTX. So you can schedule real-time threads and processes, again, running on this dedicated core. And we support up to as far as a Win32 type of API set for your applications. Okay, so moving up another layer here are where your real-time applications will exist. Here's the RTX processes and they're running on top of the subsystem of course and you can also create real-time drivers that are also running in parallel. So that's fully leveraging again all of the hardware running directly there and no virtualization taking place. Now as far as how you build this, this is all built and debugged within Visual Studio so you're able to use the same environment that you're using over here in Windows and you're leveraging all the way across into your hard real-time functions, okay? So that's a huge benefit. Now also, say you're building a Win32 type application, you're probably asking, how do I link that to the real-time app? So we actually extend an API set called RTAPI for short, but it's real-time API set, and we extend a lot of function calls up into the Windows space. So this is how you'll link your Windows application down to the RTX application. So you'll use that for a lot of synchronization for example. Okay? And as far as for data exchanges, we have a shared memory region. So this is non-page memory for, for speed. And so when you have your, for example, your events or synchronization going on, here's the shared memory area where you, you can pass data between RTX and Windows and vice versa. So really a nice way of, of, of really communicating not only with synchronization, but also with raw data here in shared memory. So what you've just seen is how RTX transforms Windows into a real-time operating system. So that was a high-level overview. We have a lot more technical videos if you check out our YouTube channel as well as our website. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.